after you've colored your entire artwork with the marker, we're going to use a different art supply for the background, and we're going to use watercolor pencil. Now, depending on what kind of colors you've used on the inside of your bird might affect the colors you choose for the background. I recommend choosing different kinds of colors for the bird versus the background so that it stands out. So for example, in this artwork I have a lot of cool colors in the body of the bird like blue, so maybe I would want to use warm colors like I started here in the background. In this other example, I have more warm colors in the body of the bird, so maybe I would want to use cool colors in the background. With any colors that you choose, we're going to be coloring neatly and carefully to fill in the whole artwork. Sometimes it can be helpful to outline a section as you go, or you can just take your time and work really carefully. The colors we're using today are called watercolor pencils, and the nice thing about them is they have a nice amount of color within the pencil and they work really well and look really good. And this material, the pencils, the colored pencils, will contrast with the marker, meaning that it'll look nice and make the marker stand out, more so than if we colored the background with marker. I'm sort of choosing to color a stripe across with this uh, sky blue color here and then I might choose another color and make another stripe so that my background has variation and isn't all the same. I think that'll make it look more interesting. You'll notice I turned my paper as I'm coloring. That makes it easier for me and my hand as I color. It also might look like I'm coloring really fast, but I'm actually coloring pretty slowly. The machine that's recording the video just makes it look really fast and I have a lot of experience. I'm also slowing down every time I get to the edge of my bird so that I can be extra slow and careful and not color over top of it. I've switched colors here to a green blue so that my background looks more interesting. Even though this is a different color, it's very close in the color wheel to the sky blue, so I think it'll look really good next to it. So that can be something you can keep in mind as you're coloring. You can choose any colors you want. We want to do our very best coloring, so that might mean working slowly and carefully and taking your time. I'm excited to see the colors you choose for the backgrounds of your birds today. Remember to do your best work and take your time. You'll fill in the whole thing, but I'm going to stop our video right here.